guys, Mr. Beetlebum here, and today's video is a map strategy video, and it's for the World of Tanks map of Lakeville. This is hands down probably one of my favorite maps, always has been <clears throat> ever since I started playing it. I've always loved this map. It's gone through some unique changes, especially with topography, making certain shot areas, uh, sniper areas, and uh, whatnot <clears throat> no longer valid. Um, good example is the valley. The valley's really changed a lot. Um, the meta back in the day used to be that <clears throat> there was no such thing as pushing valley. It's still not really a smart idea, but uh, quite honestly, you used to be able to hold the valley with, you know, three tanks, two tank destroyers, or a medium and a tank destroyer. But anyways, two guys are going to snipe, and one guy is just going to spot. The guy, the spotter, for the, like, say, the north, the spotter would just sit here, you know, anywhere where he can just spot the tanks when they crest. And then back here, you'd have like two tank destroyers. And as soon as they crest, it would just be like pff, 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 piece of cake blowing them out because it's just a t narrow little spot for them to come through. At most, maybe three tank destroyer or mediums or whatever. Uh, but very rarely did you have to do that. But anyways, that's no longer the meta. So let's talk about right now. Uh, first of all, of course, lights, the most important spot on here, hands down, just like Corellia, it, it's, you know, the most important spots they hill. L the lake road, this is what I call the valley, this is the lake road, and this is the town. Those are your three columns, your three different flanks, okay, very simple. So if you're coming from the north, <clears throat> there's a ridge up here that a lot of tanks drive up to, uh, but honestly, right here, there's going to be a, a bush here where you can just park in. You can just drive right down into it, and that's your best spot. You don't have to go around here. If you remember, guys, if you're playing lights and scouting, you should be uh, playing them only after you know you get. You should only, at least at the higher level, should only be playing them after you get a lot of crew skills put on them. Meaning you got full concealment, you got situational awareness, you got recon for extending your view range, you got full concealment. Right, you want to max out your concealment and your view range. Uh, if that's the case, if that's how you're set up, then you're good to go. Then you can come down here and you can spot all the tanks, even all the way down the K line as they're crossing. I do it all the time. And uh, a secondary position for a light would be up in this area here, uh, right about there. So, in other words, this is where you first want to go to. That's a secondary position. Going into the town, guys, I can't say it enough. I probably sound like a broken record to you guys. There's not really a reason why you need to go to town, unless if you're trying to come over to some sneaky side area here and just drive up into a tree. But you really got to be careful because most likely they have a counter position here and you're going to get spotted anyways. But what I do see still, of course, is a lot of players that are playing their light tanks and they're going into this, the town area here. There's no need for you. Hopefully that will be where the heavies are going uh, so that they can get away from any arty. And besides, it's a, it's more of like a face-to-face, -face, you know, brawling location, poking out around buildings and, and shooting and whatnot. So please don't go town. We don't need you in town. We don't need your gun. We need your eyes. <laughs> That's how I always explain it for scouts. So again, um, you know, these are the two locations for the north. And then as for the south, you don't have, again, you don't have to come all the way up here. There's actually an area right in here that's very good. And it, you can see just as much if you have all your skills up. And then again, the secondary position can be here. It can be here. It can be here. Really, whichever one you want. Uh, for these right here, I would pick the one that has the rock. The one that has the rock has less uh, bush covering. Ooh, what happened there? Um, but... It seems to uh, it seems to be, you know, it, it gives you more security because you got this big boulder right there that you can just pop behind and a lot easier. If you've got, if you're on a team with like six or seven, you know, lights again, just ignore that. I mean, obviously you're not all gonna go on a lake road or over here, you know, go where you want. I'm just saying this is your, your lake road is your main priority. If you don't have someone on your team that's spotting up there, you got to be the one to do it. You can't be holding back and, or hanging back and not doing it because the team that has all their players play their class properly, that's the team that's going to win almost always. Okay, so tank destroyers. Tank destroyers are uh, very vital on this one here. For Lake Road, 
uh, for the north, there's the house right here, the very first house uh, right here. And boop, 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 you'd be shooting that way. Um, the other position would be up here or in the bush and even as far back as here. Now this one's good for like a secondary position. What I like to do is rush into this position here or here and, and snipe what you can see on the, uh, on the lake road because you want to take out their scout as fast as possible so that you cripple them by them not having their eyes seeing all of us. So these two positions are like your main ones. If you're gonna go to the valley, sure, park up either on this little hill right here or in the gully and you can defend. But but for back here, the reason why I bring this up is this is my first spot, uh, is because then what happens is uh, if they end up take, say the enemy takes the city and you can tell by what's going on on your mini map that you're losing the city. Then you back up into this position because now you can cover not all the way down here, you can't shoot, but you can shoot up here if they start pushing. And on top of that, you can go right down this road right here and shoot these guys as they pop around the church. It's right at this corner. You're going to be able to pick them off. Uh, also, if they're coming up here or here, again, you're going to be able to pick them off. But you need eyes up there. Um, so for the lower, uh, the south, southern spawn, let me just get rid of these. Uh, for the southern spawn, it's pretty easy for your tank destroyer. See this little, right there, there's this little hill. And you can park a couple right here. And, and I swear to God, guys, that, that hands down is your best spot for covering the lake road and this area over here and even all the way down here. Hell, I even sometimes sit here and snipe tanks that are about the heavies that are battling each our heavies in this area if we're starting to lose. Uh, there's also at the end of it, there's a bush uh, right at the end of the rocks, not up on the rock, but on the main ground. You can park there as well and shoot. And then there's also... Uh, a good spot right here uh, that you can just you know shoot across at anything here or shoot across anything over here uh, I, I'm not sure I said about the ledge up here you could secondary position for the guy on the ledge could be coming back here and shooting sorry if I didn't mention that uh, so that's your TDs yes you can put a TD for the valley I, you know uh, right here right here and then I shoot anything in the crest the only problem with that is nowadays very rarely do you get into a game where everyone has a lot of patience. And it seems like everyone wants to push the valley. Um, we can sit here and debate all day long whether or not it's a valid strategy. Uh, it can be done, but it's more like a Zerg type move. Meaning you got to have some good armor up front and some nice tanks behind them. And as you let the two, say you have two heavily armored tanks you know, brawling, uh, T-95, AT-2, those kind of things, you lots of frontal armor, you know, them go over the front, over the crest first, if they make it by without being uh, tracked, and they keep going down, their enemies can be shooting at them, trying to find the weak spots, and then you have a couple fast tanks behind them, maybe a few, cup, a few fast tanks behind them, so they can fan out, and now you just overpower the, uh, the defense, because there's too many things, too many tanks for them to shoot at. That's the proper way of doing it. That's not how it normally happens. Normally what happens is you just get guys going, let's go valley, man, valley. And they all just start pushing randomly. And next you know, there's like a whole catastrophe in the valley where these guys are going up one at a time and just getting slaughtered. And most of the time it doesn't work. That's why I was saying, you know, if you're going to do it, that's how you do it properly by fully armored sprinters. Um... Back in the day, like I said, the valley was a very key position. Now it's more about just defending it, just blocking any attempt that they have um, while you take care of the main battle in the town. Um, that tends to be the best strategy going forward. Uh, so mediums, valley, and town are your friend. You know, um, it really depends on your tank. If you got what's called a ridge warrior, you know, your Swedish mediums, um, any tank that has really good gun depression, and again, guys, gun depression meaning how low your, your gun can go, right? Elevation for up, depression for down, not like... <laughs> Anyways, if you have great gun depression, the valley is a place for you to go. Um, you can use it to your advantage. There's a little hill right here. A little hill right here and a hill right here 
The reason why I'm pointing out those hills, guys, is because if, you're, if your tank has great gun depression, you can actually put, roll up at the back of this hill. You can roll up and use your, your nice little gun depression to bring the gun down so really all they're going to be able to shoot at is the top of your tank, and you're still able to shoot over that little hill. Uh, it's a nice way of just sitting there and picking off the guys as they're cresting and there's really not much they can do. Now, of course, be aware of Artie. You already know that. You've been playing your Swedish medium or whatever tank for a while and you know that you got to be careful. Um, so keep that in mind and have a blast defending the valley. Um, the heavies, of course, or the mediums that are, you know, the slower mediums that have more armor, uh, without the gun out of uh, depression and all that kind of stuff, you know, you know who you are. You're gonna, you got to know your strengths and weaknesses of your tank. I keep saying that, and if you know that, you know the valley is not geared for you. Into the town you go. Basically, all the heavies. Um, again, unless, unless you know you got a crab or something that's you're going to go valley. What you want to do is the rest. You want to go into town and battle it out. Uh, and it's very simple. Just along the south. You know, play it safe, guys. Always play it safe. I see guys going across here all the time and getting slaughtered. Just take it easy. Patience. Go along the bottom and then go up along the top here, man. And if you're on the north, same thing. Just go along the top. There's no rush, you know. You've already got TDs down here, and there's probably a medium in here somewhere. You're going to have tanks here that are going to be seeing what you know, the enemy's doing. You do have time is what I'm trying to say. But just get up there. Um, always bear in mind that they can see, the enemy can see you. In other words, you can see through here to that corner. You can see through here to this corner, plus here. And over on this one, unfortunately, they don't really have anything. Yes, you can sit over here, but you're too out in the open. And very, very rarely do you find someone there because it's just not a good shot. Uh, but those are location. Those are locations that can shoot into town. So just bear that in mind when you're playing your heavies in there. Uh, the best thing to do is basically to hug the uh, the far, far, far east corner of this church, I believe it is, in there. Uh, hug your corners here, hug your corners here, here, and here. That kind of thing. Always, you know, on the east side of the building so that you're getting cover away from anything that's hiding on the lake road that wants to snipe you. So just like always thinking, stay arty safe, stay lake road safe. How's that? That's a different way of, of saying it, but... It gets the point across. Um, bloop, bloop. Eh, we'll leave that one. That will be the Artie, because now we're at Artie. And there you go. That's a perfect spot for Artie. Right there, right there, right there. Sometimes you actually find Artie over here. They just say, screw, va screw the valley, uh, you know, and, and they'll pop over here. On the opposing side, same thing. It's always going to be like here, maybe here. And every once in a while, you see someone down here. Um, these guys here are probably trying to get at anything that's on Lake Road. That's why they're coming over to the side. I've also seen them. Oh, where's that house? Right there. Sorry. Ignore this one. That one's up in the, uh, in the little hill area here. But this one right here. Um, I see them over here quite a bit too. And again, that's to everything, different angle heading over to the Lake Road. So guys, that's it. We covered the lights. Spot, 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 spot. TDs, to support, 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 mediums, and heavies in town. And then, of course, already along the A line and the K line. So let's check out the map and see what it looks like when you're actually playing it. All right. All right, guys, here we are on Lakeville. What a gorgeous map. Uh, let's start off with the lights. So obviously, here's your spawn. And where I'm talking about is you just rush right down here. Now, see, whoop. Sorry, see right here, there's this little ledge right here. A lot of people go there, but I don't really recommend that. Uh, what I recommend is right here, this bush. You just drive down into it, and you can spot them all the way. I know it looks really far, but trust me, with if you have your view range maxed out, and you have your camel net and binox on, you're going to be able to see all the heavies as they're crossing back there, and the TDs and everything else. And uh, it's pretty easy peasy for, you know, doing some doing some really good spotting for your team. Another good location is right here, this little uh, area, the rock. I'm showing you, you know, the bushes that are in there. You can go from side to side. 
you know, don't always stay on the one side, always kind of move around uh, and go back and forth. Whereas on the other side, of course, your arty, or sorry, your, your light tanks, here's the bush that I just, I just said to go to. And the other one over here is you go into this bush right here. That again is enough. It's not as good as this bush. You know, you have a rock here, but between these two, you can do very well. And you notice that there's no bushes all the way along here. So if you try pushing all the way up, you better got you better have some armor and have some teams ready to back you up on anything like the light or the tank that's up here, because it's going to be a battle. You, you're not going to have any coverage other than these little rocks and you don't have bushes to get into. So this is the bush that I'm, I talk about. And then as well, you can see here, there's the rock right here with a bush. There's a bush here, bush here, bush here. All kinds of bushes there to get in behind. It's all up to you which one you want to do. Um, as for lights in the, in the valley, if you really, really need to go to valley, you really want to help out there. Um, again, remember, you don't have to be up here to spot. You can be right here proxy spotting them and being already safe the whole time. Same with the other side here, guys. You know, you can get in this bush right here and spot them as they come up or stay behind the rock. I would prefer over here myself. Uh, so again, proxy spotting, poking out and whatnot. Um, you don't have, don't stay somewhere where they can always shoot you. That's the thing. You want to be passive. Uh, and remember, these are secondary positions. Always the lake road is your first. Tank destroyers. If you want to be in the valley, there's three bushes right there. I'll get a little closer for you. Uh, the nice thing about this here is you can actually double bush pretty good behind here. You know, park your tank here. You're far enough away from this bush that you can double uh, double bush very well. Of course, they're going to know you're there, but, you know, it's a little harder to hit you if, if they can't see you. Uh, that kind of thing. As for the other side, if you're playing a tank destroyer that wants to snipe the valley, well, there you go, man. Again, you could double bush up here. Uh, you can go, go over on this side here and this bush here and snipe up and you're basically looking for when the uh, tanks come come over the crest when they reach the berm or the crest of the berm uh, That's when you want to attack them uh, While I'm here, you know arties uh, What can I say? You know, you're gonna have an arty here. You can have an arty here and maybe an arty down here uh, I'm just saying that because I'm, I'm I'm in the spot right now but back to tank destroyers. This is the key pl location right here, guys. This is the key location for your tank destroyers. You can put two or three up here and bam, 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 bam. I mean, you can shoot. I do it all the time on my streams, guys. My SU-130 PM can snipe all the way down to here, right at the very beginning of their road. Uh, plus it can look down here. Plus even if you back up a bit, you can actually snipe through into the church. So it's a real good spot there. Another uh, location that you'll find tank destroyers is right here. And it, the reason being is because they're trying to snipe into this little square right here where the church is so that they can get uh, damage on the heavies. At the uh, the other spawn, it's virtually uh, the same thing um, for this side right here. Like you, you basically park right here and you're gonna be sniping into the, the square again. What they don't have on this side is this nice little ridge that you can fall back down on if you get spotted. So I personally enjoy coming over here or over here. This one's got a nice bush. Uh, this one's a little further away. And you can just spot, and there's bushes in front of you. So you can snipe what's on Lake Road without getting spotted there. Uh, another thing I was talking about is how you can sit at the back here, this spot right here. And it's good. I mean, you're not going to be able to snipe all the heavies as they're crossing because you're too far away. This is what I call a secondary spot. You want to start here and try to pick off what's on the lake road. Once that's done, then you got to focus on helping and supporting that town. Now, if the heavies and all that are right in here in the thick, what happens sometimes is you'll jump across this side of the road and then come back through here because you have all these houses covering you and giving you, you know, a safe way of getting out. Then come back here and get behind this bush here. You got a rock to cover you from this angle. Plus you can snipe all the way up that street and that's busy street during battles. So it's a good location. Uh, there's also bushes back here as well you can use for doing the lake road. But in all honesty, guys, you need to be up around in this area if you're gonna be able to snipe the whole lake road. 
Um, as for the other side, again, I pointed out that there's this whole little hill right here, but there's also the rock at the end with the bush in it, which is perfect for sniping out of. You can even snipe right here. It doesn't have as much of a gully to fall back into if you get spotted. But in all honesty, if you double bush yourself up there, it's pretty hard to get spotted anyways. But again, this is a secondary position because your angle, you're not going to be able to get as many shots. All right, so the mediums and the heavies. Uh, you have yourself, uh, of course, the town here. So let me just turn it around. This is the way you bring your heavies is right along here and then in. Don't be going across here, guys. This is what I was talking about. It's just you're giving the enemy free damage. You just want to stay away. Do the smart thing. Take your time and come around the long way. And you're going to find you're going to get into battle with all your, your hit points. And that's a major, major, major big thing. Uh, I was also talking about how you always want to stay. This is the east side. Okay. You want to stay on the east side of the houses at all times. And there's in there. You know, you want to be parked in here. Even if you're here, you want to be parked on here. Why do you not want to be on, on the uh, the other side? Whoop, wrong button. <laughs> Why do you not want to be on this side? Because all those tanks, remember the TDs we were talking about? They're going to snipe right up here. So even when you get to the, the actual church itself, this is where you want to hang out for both spawns. It doesn't matter what side you're on. You know, the battle's going to be around this corner right here because you're trying to stay away from all the uh, the big, big, big alpha damage coming from the tank destroyers. So, normally the fight tends to be up and around here. As for the valley... The valley in the valley. I like the saying. Uh, sometimes there's heavies that push here. I explained it pretty good in, in before. You know, if you got great gun depression, go valley. If you got good armor, go town. It's that simple. Uh, the slower moving heavies, town, town, town. You want to stay away from, you know, the uh, the arty, and you want to stay in spots where you got coverage from the the all the damage that's coming in. So, honestly, the best strategy for the valley is having a spotter and wait, letting them come up. Very rarely does it happen though. But I was talking about how if you got good gun depression, you can basically ramp up against this and just not show much of your tank at all. Especially, uh, sorry, especially this one right here is good. Or if you're going to do it, go right up to the crest uh, and, you know, and fight that way. And it basically comes down to, you know, it's going to be a shootout, you versus the other team. And hopefully you had enough armor there to uh, keep you in it. Uh, the other side again, you could do that. You could do the whole gun depression ridge, uh, ridge battling right here. You could do it on this side as well. Uh, again, it's all about just getting your gun just peeking over the, the ridge. It can be on an angle like this, it doesn't have to be flat, but just get so your gun's over top and then basically flat there so they don't have anything to shoot. Swedish mediums, Swedish heavies. Uh, there's a lot of tanks out there that have real good gun depression. Um, you just have to find which ones they are and those are the ones that are best to use in these scenarios. Uh, so what would be the, the best option or best scenario here is your light comes ripping up here and maybe another light comes right here and you get a scout right in this house and this, or sorry, a TD in this house and this house and they spot the guys here and pew, 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 they you take out the other team's eyes. Meanwhile, the heavies are like dun 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 dun, dun and the mediums are dun 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 dun. All the rage line warriors over here, uh, and then the arties are like dink 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 dink, kind of spread on the back line, and you basically you take out the, their eyes as soon as you can, then do as much damage to you to the enemy teams that are from the spotting that you're getting, uh, dwindle them down as much as possible, and then it's the head to head battle. Once you notice that you know you got an advantage where there's a there's two heavies, but you don't find there's other tanks there and there's three of you, all of you wrap around, focus fire on that one heavy in the town, blow them away, move on to the next, R rinse and repeat, guys, rinse and repeat, keep it going, keep it going. All right, so this is it, man. Uh, this is Lakeville. I'm laughing because I had to play a whack load of games because after the patch I couldn't watch any of the replays so i've been sitting here playing all day long until finally i got a game with lakeville so that i could finish this video and i'm happy that we found it so now i can move on to the next videos uh guys if you like it thumbs up if you don't uh if you want to know when i'm bringing out another strategy video or any other kind of video 
just uh, subscribe and set up your notifications. It's that simple. You'll be notified every time I put up a video, and that way you'll be kept up to date with all the different map strategies. Uh, and that's it for me, guys. I'm running a little late on this one. I know without even looking. I know it's going to be long. But uh, uh, you take your easy. Have fun out there. And this is Mr. Beetlebum saying, Mr. Beetlebum out.